Hey everybody, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel, Opinionated Sense. The person who started this tag is Tunes Reviews. I do not know of this person and I've never seen any videos, but I plan to make a visit soon to get acquainted and more than likely subscribe because if Joss Jane likes them, I probably will too. I was tagged by Joss. So I will put both of their channels in the description box below or tag them both so that you guys can go and check them out and subscribe and follow too if they are your vibe. This is called the Holy Trinity tag. I am not going to be doing this on my top three fragrances though. I am simply going to do three fragrances that I like and I'm going to answer seven questions about these fragrances. Now, I watched Joss's video, Joss Jane, again, that's who tagged me. I watched her video um, when she did it back on like February 1st. And so I don't remember much of anything. I know that she chose Angel Muse, which is one I would have actually chosen. And I didn't because I know she chose that one. And then I don't think I um, knew of the other two that she chose. So I don't remember the questions. And I liked how I did the 21 questions tag yesterday when I filmed it. Didn't look at any of the questions. I just did the tag on the fly. So I'm going to do this tag that way as well. I knew I had to pick out three perfumes, so I did. I picked out three perfumes that I feel like I wanted to shine a little bit of a spotlight on that I don't feel I've really done that for yet. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, so I'm going to be cheating a little bit here. I have repurchased Hugo Boss the Scent Private Accord. I know I wasn't supposed to do any repurchases, but I, guys, I have to have it in my collection. I've been craving it since it's been gone. I know I used it up in like a few months. Um, what can I say? So this is Hugo Boss the Scent. I'm using this bottle because it looks just like that one, only it's lighter um, as a placeholder because I don't technically have the Scent Private Accord with me right now. So let's go ahead and start with the first question. What is the lasting impression that the fragrance has left on you that I absolutely needed in my collection? Um, if you watched me last year, you know, I just, and in my Instagram, like I was wearing that fragrance every day. And again, we're talking about Hugo Boss the Scent Private Accord for her. Um, the chocolate an orange candied fragrance, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. I literally cannot explain why other than something about my nose loves and is addicted to and obsessed with that fragrance. The longevity has got to be some of the worst longevity in a fragrance I've ever experienced in my life. I literally top up that fragrance every two hours. But the fragrance is so good, I do not care. I don't care. So the lasting impression is that it is a must have for me. And even though I wouldn't put it in my top 10 for life simply because of the longevity, if we were talking about top 10 for life just based on smell, absolutely. Absolutely. The way it hits me, absolutely. The second question is what is your best memory attached to the perfume? I would have to say my love at first sniff. That perfume hit me different. Like it literally hit different. So my favorite memory is just me smelling it and going, oh my God, this is the best thing I've ever smelled in my life. <laughs> now, do I mean that literally? No. However, it definitely scent wise. It's just the bee's knees. Why do I keep saying that lately? Somebody had to have said that because bees don't even have knees. Like, anyway. Third question. A fictional character who might wear the scent. Oh my gosh, I forgot um, about that question. Maybe doing this on the fly wasn't such a hot idea. Who would wear Hugo Boss the scent? Fictional character. Orange and chocolate fictional character. You know what? I would say Gina Davis in A Long Kiss Goodnight when she had the amnesia, when she was just the regular mom, you know, baking cookies for the bake sale and all of that. I feel like because she was into the chocolates and into the pastries, maybe she would wear it. And I like it because it's twofold. Because inside of her was a real stone cold killer. 
but she didn't know it and remember it, but it was there. And I think that that would perfectly describe Hugo Boss' descent. Private Accord for her, the way that it hit me. It was unassuming, pretty bottle, a little darker than this, you know, with the juice. Um, I'd heard great things about it, but again, I'm thinking chocolate and mandarin, okay. Not really knowing what I was getting into. And then, bam, Charlie wakes up and I'm in a world of trouble. So, huh, yeah, maybe doing this on the fly wasn't so bad after all, okay? Number four, a concert you would wear the fragrance too. I haven't really been to many concerts, but if I'm going to do mandarin and chocolate, you know, maybe a Rihanna concert, you know, maybe a little work, 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 you know, chocolate and mandarin can be sexy, um, a little bit rebellious because it's not the norm that you get from fragrances. There are some other houses that are trying to come out with that orange and chocolate. They are. Um, I hear their longevity is a lot better. Haven't gotten my hands on those yet, but I could definitely see the fun, but sexy Rihanna, you know, vibes matching with that perfume. Um, a place you'd like to travel wearing this scent anywhere. I would love to go anywhere and let people experience this. But I would probably say someplace big on chocolates. What is that? Like, uh, you know, France or, you know, who makes those chocolates? Like, there are some chocolates that are made somewhere, somewhere. Um, who makes those chocolates? Like Lindor chocolates, like from the wherever, someplace like that, someplace where they make chocolates. I would like to be in that atmosphere, walk into the chocolate factory, you know. Oh, you know what? I would want to wear that fragrance in the past. I would like to go onto the set of the I Love Lucy show and be standing in between Lucy and Ethel when they were doing the chocolates on the conveyor belt. We would have had a lot, you know, we would have did a lot better if I were there to help them out. Um, yeah, that's why I want to wear it. Um, a song that correlates to the fragrance these, I don't advise doing these tags on the fly anymore. Um, a song that correlates to the freight? I don't know. Um, okay, okay, okay. You want to do it on the fly? So just say something. Um, I feel like, you know, what's coming to my mind is like um, a John Legend or Anthony Hamilton song. I don't necessarily know like the... Um, coming from where I'm coming from or coming, yeah, is that what it's called by Anthony Hamilton? Or maybe, um, oh my gosh. Um, um, any John Legend song, I don't know. I, I don't know why John Legend and Anthony Hamilton popped into my head, but I'm gonna say coming from where I'm coming from by Anthony Hamilton, just because I have no idea. Will it remain a part of your collection or a part of your arsenal for years to come? Probably because I tried to be done with it and I told myself I wouldn't do any repurchases of things that I finished and I couldn't do it. Like I lasted for a few months, but I really miss it. And so, yeah, I can see that. Absolutely. And again, that's going to be this. This is the stand in. But we're talking about Hugo Boss Descent, Private Accord for her. The next fragrance I'm going to do these questions on is Delina. I think that she's appeared on my top 10 lists and I've mentioned her as being my first niche fragrance, but I haven't really talked about her in depth. So I wanted to give her a little bit of shine um, by answering these questions with her. I started to cheat and take a break and try to figure out the answers to these questions, but nope, I'm just going to wing it. Um, first question is, what lasting impression did this fragrance leave? So many. Most importantly, this is the first niche fragrance I had. This is the uh, this was at that time the biggest purchase I had ever made or you know the the largest amount of money I'd ever spent on a fragrance even though I got it way less than what it's um offered for or sold for on Parfums de Marly's direct website. It still was a hefty price tag. But the lasting impression that I got from this one is this perfume started to change my palette. 
The first time I smelled this, I did not like it. I thought Demi Rowling had lost her mind. Um, I had taken a sample down to Florida with me on vacation and just kept wearing it anyway because it was what I had brought with me. And by like the third try, I was like, oh my God, this is everything that life should be. And then I started focusing on, or I, I figured out about Fragrantica and started looking at notes and it just, it just changed me. I actually have a, uh, a video called Since That Changed Me. And this is one of those, like this is probably the biggest fragrance that changed me on so many different levels. So the lasting impression for me is that it's a game changer. It was an eye opener, a palette changer, um, just, yeah. It's Delena. The best memory attached to the perfume. Again, that vacation um, was the last vacation that my oldest kid, my um, son, went on with us as a family before he left for college. So it was beautiful. It was Florida. It was beautiful weather. He was out there in the ocean looking the most peaceful I'd seen him look since turning a teenager. Um, and it was fantastic. So I have that beautiful memory of all of us collectively together as one family unit on vacation. And it's, it was beautiful. And this was the fragrance I was wearing and slowly falling in love with during that entire vacation. A fictional character that may wear this fragrance. Um, you know, Cinderella, Snow White, Sleeping Beauty. Some type of princess, um, you know, Ariel, once she gets her legs and comes on land, some really, you know, um, beautiful princess who is sought after and just, you know, eventually ends up with the happy, happily ever after. Um, a concert, I would wear this to. Enya. A place you'd like to travel to wearing this fragrance. Definitely like Paris, Italy, somewhere just beautiful with, you know, beautiful buildings and, you know, you know, things to see or someplace with lots of cafes and beautiful scenery and, you know, maybe Ireland, Scotland, like places like that. Just somewhere lush and green or super like fancy. <laughs> A song that correlates to the fragrance. I'm going to go with Only Time by Enya. Do not ask me why Enya has popped up into my head. It's been 10, 15 years since I listened to this woman. Um, I don't care. That's what I'm going with. And will it remain as a part of your arsenal for years to come? Absolutely. No question about it. And the last fragrance that I'm going to talk about with these seven questions is Mark Jacobs' Daisy Love. The cloud berry, y'all. Oh my God, it gets me every freaking time. I, boy, okay. What lasting impression has this fragrance left? Um, the fact that I love it so much. My lasting impression is that I love cloud berries. Don't know what they are, but I love them. This fragrance is so pretty. The lasting impression is that it's pretty for the sake of being pretty. Um, my best memory attached, the compliments I've gotten with this one. I have been walking, you know, minding my business and just been walking, you know, through the courtyard and people around me. The wind would hit us from the side and so my perfume would blow onto them. And, you know, men and women are like, oh my God, you smell so good. The way that that perfume or that scent carries in the wind is exquisite. So I think... For this to be a Marc Jacobs perfume, and Marc Jacobs is not a house that a lot of people talk about, and it garners so much attention. I personally personally love it, but it's something that I never thought would be such a huge compliment getter. So that's a lasting impression for me. Name a fictional character that will wear this fragrance. I can think of a real person. Um, I feel like this fragrance would be beautiful on someone with the... the vibe and the aura and the essence of a Lupita Nyong'o. I just think that this is extremely pretty and beautiful and nice and kind, which is how she comes off to me. If we're talking fictional made up character, gosh, man, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Claire Huxtable, maybe Claire Huxtable would have smelled like this. 
Um, and maybe Denise would have stolen her bottle to take to college on a different world. And maybe she used to wear this every day as she was go uh, growing closer and closer to Dwayne Wayne. So, yeah, you know, this is nice. I don't know. Where does this stuff come from? Um, a concert you would wear this fragrance to? You know, really anything R&B. If I was going to see um, Maxwell in concert, Maxwell, um, a place you would travel to wearing this scent, I think that this would be a beautiful fragrance to travel um, with anywhere. Uh, specifically, I don't know. I could see myself wearing this in Hawaii or Mexico, somewhere near the water where they have cooler nights because this would be perfect for date night. A song that correlates to this fragrance, I will go with Fortunate by Maxwell, which is my favorite song of all time because it's just like love. This is called Daisy Love and that is like the perfect love song. And um, will it remain a part of your, yeah, absolutely. Even if I go through all of my Marc Jacobs daisies and never purchase another one, this one will be, as long as it's somewhere where I can buy it, I definitely see this being, this is definitely a top 20 of all time for me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the like button and select the notification bell so that you never miss any of my future uploads. This was fun. If you have a YouTube channel and you have not been tagged in this, please consider yourself tagged by me. I would love to see your answers. Um, try to do it on the fly if you can. I know you just heard the question, so if it's fresh in your mind, you may be able to cheat a little bit. But that part of it was fun. I did get caught up, had to really think about something really quick, but it came together. I don't know. I have to watch it back, of course, but I had fun filming it. Of course, if you don't have a channel and you're just a subscriber who just likes to watch these content, please pick one of your favorite perfumes and go ahead and answer these seven questions for that one. I won't make you do three. That's a lot. <laughs> However, um, as always, I love to engage with you guys in the comments. And until then,